Hey everybody, this is example number one for mechanics of materials covering stress transformation. The problem statement that we have is the differential element shown in the figure below experiences a state of plane stress. The stress in the normal x direction is equal to negative 100 megapascals. The stress in the y direction, normal y direction, is equal to 50 megapascals. And the shear stress is equal to negative 25 megapascals. And we need to find the we need to find the equivalent the equivalent stress on this element if it's orientated 30 degrees clockwise from the original position. So here's our differential element under plane stress. We have the stress in the we have the stress in the x direction is equal to 100 megapascals, and it's negative because it's in compression. We have we have in the y direction it's 50 megapascals and it's positive because it's a ten tensile stress and then we have this negative shear stress equal to 25 megapascals and we need to find the equivalent stresses on this element if it's orientated 30 degrees clockwise from the original position so here I show the original position x and y and then the orientated the coordinate system that's orientated 30 degrees clockwise so it's important to note that when we're when we're doing these stress transformations, uh, as far as measuring the angle, clock uh, counterclockwise. So going this way, the angle is positive, and clockwise is negative. So our case is clockwise. So when we're plugging in this angle into the stress transformation equations, we're going to plug in negative 30 degrees, not thir positive 30 degrees. So the first thing we're going to do is find the transform stress in the x direction. And here's the formula. It's equal to the normal stress in the x direction, sigma x, sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 times cosine of 2 theta plus the shear stress times sine of 2 theta. And again, theta is going to be equal to negative 30 degrees. So instead of, uh, instead of writing this whole thing out like as far as the numbers, I just, I just made a quick little spreadsheet. And so the normal stress in the x direction is equal to negative 40.85 megapascals. Negative 40.85 megapascals. And, and as far as the spreadsheet, uh, you guys can access the spreadsheet on our website at engineeringexamples.net. And we have spreadsheets for a lot of our examples, so you can access all of them, all of them at, at our website. Next, we're going to find the transform stress in the y direction. And it's very similar to the previous formula, previous equation, except, except here and here. In the, previous, uh, in the previous equation, this was a positive sign. And but in our in this equation for a transform stress in the y direction, it's, it's a negative minus sign. So we plug in the numbers, the stresses into this equation, and we find the transform stress in the y direction is equal to negative 9.15. Negative 9.15 megapascals. Okay. Negative 9.15 megapascals. And lastly, we're going to find the transform shear stress. And here's a formula for the transform shear stress. It's equal to negative the, the stress in the x, norm, normal stress in the x direction, sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 times sine of 2 theta plus the shear stress times cosine of 2 theta. And again, theta is equal to negative 30 degrees. And so we plug in the numbers and we find that the transform shear stress is equal to negative 77.45. And this should be the units are MPA megapascals. Negative 77.45. Negative 77.45 megapascals and it's also a good idea to graphically show this so here's our 
transform. Here's our differential element, and it's rotated. Um, the orientation is rotated 30 degrees clockwise. So we have our we have our original coordinate system x and y, and then we have our transform coordinate system x prime and y prime. And so the angle here between x and x prime is equal to 30 degrees or we can say more appropriately negative 30 degrees and then here between x and y prime it's going to be equal to 60 degrees and then also we show our our uh, shear stress and our normal stress in the x and norm uh excuse me this is this is the this here is the normal stress in the y the normal stress in the x and then here is our shear stress and so this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash engineering examples. And also, if you guys want to get access to the spreadsheets, it's at our website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.